What's going on guys? Alex here with TFL Car. I'm here in Denver at the Goodyear North America Customer Conference and right now I'm sitting inside of an Ali autonomous vehicle. This will be able to drive you around on short routes and as you can see this is the only control panel in here. There's no steering wheel, no pedals, but that's not the coolest thing about this vehicle. Let's jump out on the outside and I can show you what it's sitting on. This is sitting on Goodyear's non-pneumatic tires right there and as you can see if we come over to this one this one's not mounted you can see right through these these are airless tires so in this video i'm going to give you a full walk around of these tires show you all the tech give you a full in-depth tour that's coming up right now Today at the customer conference, we're showcasing uh, both a partnership with um, an autonomous vehicle shuttle developed by Local Motors, as well as Goodyear's design non-pneumatic tire. Non-pneumatic literally means without air. Um, so as you can see from the structure itself, it does not require air to be able to support the vehicle providing a true worry-free mobility experience. Without air, puncture resistance is obviously number one. Um, but the design also lends itself to uh, a more stable footprint, um, enabling better wear, better rolling resistance, and the material change from traditional uh, tire materials to something like the, uh, the plastic material we're working on here, potentially have additional sustainability uh, benefits as well. Well, the design itself is capable of absorbing um, all the things that are uh, happening underneath the vehicle. So what you actually see is the, the, the connecting structure go into compression, so it actually envelops any obstacles that are in the road, actually being able to provide uh, a more comfortable ride than a traditional tire. The Goodyear non-pneumatic tire has three main components. Obviously, you've got a rim, uh, a connecting structure, and then what we call a shear band. Um, so it's those three elements together that provide uh, the solution. So this entire inner part of the wheel is actually steel. It's rock hard metal and that's kind of welded to this metal lip and then bolted to the rim on the outside. Now this whole inner part right here is kind of like a plastic material. It's actually injection molded and then kind of glued to the steel inner part right here. And then you have somewhat of a more traditional tire compound on the outside to hold the whole thing together. Really cool construction and it's just a crazy design. Just look at it. What's like the average expected life out of a tire like this? Uh, we're still in the development phase, uh, but like I said, um, you know, the construction itself does lend itself to advantages in uh, uh, tread wear mileages as well as rolling resistance. Well, I think it's probably safe to say that the technology, uh, if proven, um, has uh, a pretty broad application opportunity. Uh, at this point, we're focused on the Ali shuttle. So, Ali obviously checks a lot of boxes for us, being a fleet, an autonomous vehicle, a connected vehicle, and an electric platform. Um, and it's it's a pretty unique construction. It's a 3D printed uh, uh, chassis, um, and then is just a, a perfect test bed for us to evaluate this new technology. So while this video is mainly about the non-pneumatic tires, I wanted to briefly just talk about this self-driving vehicle right here. It of course is called the Ali. It's made by Local Motors. You guys might know them because a few years back they made this really sweet looking rally fighter. This is kind of the space they're playing in now. There's sensors all over this thing. Like I said, no steering wheel, no pedals, just a giant computer screen. 
inside. They're not giving any rides in this thing today for obvious reasons here at this very crowded Denver show. It's also kind of snowing and icy outside, so that probably wouldn't be a good idea. But the design of this is just crazy. I mean, this is what you expect an autonomous vehicle to look like. Bubbly, windows everywhere, bright neon lights all over the outside, sensors everywhere. I don't even know what half of these sensors do, but I'm sure they're important because they are everywhere on this Ollie. If you're able to drive a car off a dealership lot with this type of tire, our car is going to be sold with spare tires. Uh, that's a really interesting question. Now, whether or not this type of tire will be applicable to the mass market, it's still not yet determined. Um, but we do see it, uh, you know, well suited for certain subsets of uh, emerging markets, and we're exploring whether or not it's the right fit or not. Um, but at the same time, it's not just uh, electric vehicles that are interested, uh, autonomous and electric vehicles that are interested in getting rid of the spare. Um, electric vehicle manufacturers are also designing their vehicles without spares uh, because they want that room for batteries uh, to extend range and life. So um, this could be one of those potential mobility solutions of the future. At Goodyear, we're focused on four main trends uh, that are happening in the auto industry. Uh, the emergence of ride sharing and car sharing fleets in the consumer segment, autonomous vehicles, uh, connectivity between vehicles, and then finally electric vehicles. Ollie tends to check a lot of those boxes. It's a shuttle designed to be used in a fleet application. It's autonomous, obviously highly connected, and also happens to be electric. Now those four trends are guiding us in terms of strategy. And as fleets like this evolve in various segments of the industry, um, fleets want a number of things. They want to be able to optimize their costs, they want to minimize their repairs, and they want to keep those vehicles on the road making money. Being able to provide a complete worry-free solution that doesn't require air maintenance and is completely resistant to flats is a uh, really great opportunity for fleets of the future. Now this is Goodyear's non-pneumatic tire, but there's a ton of competition in this space. You can expect all the major manufacturers to have a product similar to this, or at least to be working on something similar to this. And something interesting to note is that Michelin actually calls their version of this product or prototype the Twiel, which I think is a little bit more of a creative name than the non-pneumatic tire. Yeah, we're certainly not alone in this space. Um, you know, our competitors are all uh, working in this space as they're looking at the trends very similar uh, to how Goodyear's looking at them for the future. The tire feels pretty slick, um, and I know that's, you know, to go with the, the autonomous vehicles mm. travel 25 miles per hour. Is, is, are you working on a compound that's more performance oriented, or is this kind of where you're starting? It's certainly the latter. So we've partnered with Locomotors and are specifically designed at this tire for their applications and where they're going to be exploring the market. What's the advantage of something over this over a pneumatic, like a solid pneumatic tire, like something on a forklift? Uh, well, they certainly um, are going to function differently. A solid tire is going to support the structure from below. This happens to be a top-loading structure. A solid structure is not going to have the same ride quality that you're going to get with this type of non-pneumatic solution. Uh, at this point, we're not uh, we're not ready to announce a product launch or or cost. Um, you know, we're still in the development phase. So there you have it guys, that is Goodyear's non-pneumatic tire. Really interesting tech. I'm really interested to see where this goes in the future. Maybe we'll see it on some cars and trucks that we're testing out at TFL. I think it would be really sweet to even get one of these on a side-by-side -side or something, maybe even an ATV. You know, those kinds of off-road activities where flats are just constant. You could maybe have three flats in a day when you're out on a side-by-side. -side. So really interested to see where this goes. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to go back to tflcar.com for more news views and real world crazy airless tire reviews.